Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the gate 2023. Today we will discuss about the next five questions from the 56 to 60 related to this examination. Myself Dr. Harish Gar, you can simply follow my YouTube channel and scan and join my WhatsApp group. What we have discussed so far in the playlist of the gate statistics, you can see we have discussed the complete gate 2022-23 statistics 11 to 15, 11 to here up to question number 55 in our last lecture. We have also discussed the complete gate 2022 statistics as well as paper related to this uh, CSR UGC net of uh, statistics examination like CSR June 2023 statistics of September 2020 and so on. So now we will solve the question related to this here again with the help of shortcut twins. So now remember, as I told you many times, you have to read the statement very carefully. So if you read this statement very carefully, it is given that it's a probability mass function. And here, which of the following is or are true, more than one correct option. Very simple question. You can solve this question in a 15 second. But what is the logic behind that? Think about any of the discrete probability mass function which relate with the factorial. Do you think any of the factorial, any of the probability mass function which is relation with x factorial and y minus x factorial? Yes, this is the ncx. You can see this is the n factorial, x factorial and minus x factorial. That's a binomial kind. Fine. So here we need a n factorial. n in this case is my y. So if I divide it and multiply by y on the both side, that is fine. Fine. Now there is no issue about this. Now you can think about this side. Do you think any of the distribution which involve e raised to power something and factorial? There is a Poisson distribution. You can see here. So e raised to power minus of 2. Now there is a need of 2 raised to power x. Here is y. 2 raised to power y. I can multiply and divide 2 raised to power y on both sides. Fine. Now, once you can return here, your answer is over. Now you can see this is e raised to power minus 2, 2 raised to power y over y factorial. This is the first part. This I can return as a y c x. Now for the binomial, we need a p raised to power x, q raised to power n minus x. You can see if you open them, it will again be 2 raised to power y. So what is the meaning of that? So this is my y this is my x condition y. So what is that? y follows my Poisson distribution with the mean parameter 2. x condition y will follow my binomial distribution with the n is my y and probability is my half. That's over. Now you can see that x condition y will follow the binomial. What is the expected value of this is n into p. What is the n is y? What is the value of the y is 4. Probability is half. So the right answer is 2 correct answers. Fine. Now once you know the y has a Poisson distribution, what is the moment generating function of the y? It is e raised to power minus lambda 1 minus e raised to power t. That is the moment generating function. Lambda is nothing but the parameter. So you can see e raised to power minus of t. 1 minus e raised to power t. Now you can relate them. Here, instead of the t, where t is belong to the r, here is a v. So what is that? If I open this bracket, it will be my 2 e raised to power v minus 1. So that's a similar of this, is the right Now, how you find the expected value of the x? So you need to firstly find what is the distribution of the x. That's again a very, very simple how you can think about that? So remember, this is the simple shortcut tips for you. If y follows the Poisson distribution with the parameter here. So if y follows the Poisson distribution, x condition y follows the binomial distribution with the parameter n, p, then x will follow Poisson distribution with the parameter lambda into p. Fine. So according to this case, what is my x? x follows the Poisson distribution. Lambda is my 2, p is my half. So the answer is 
1 so what is the expected value of this x x is my 1 but here this is 2 it's a cancel how you find the moment generating function this is a joint moment density function this is m of x comma y so remember one property if you take so i called u with respect to x and v with respect to y if i simply take v as a zero in this moment generating function then the answer will be the moment generating function of the x if i take u as a zero then it will be the moment generating function of the y fine so now look at that if i take v as a zero what is the right answer of this e raised to power minus one plus e raised to power u if i take u as a zero it will be my two so minus 2 plus 2 e raised to power v now you can see that is uh, i can simply rub this so look at that this is the moment generating function of y it is the same you can see it's the same of this so this portion is my correct now what is the moment generating function of this x follows the poisson distribution what is the moment generating function of this e raised to power lambda minus lambda and this are here so lambda is my one so e raised power minus one of this now you can see it's the same of this if i take minus as a common it is same of this so it means yes this is my correct option so this is the way you can solve this answer in a very simple manner based on this shortcut tree there is one more method so instead of finding here you can see i can use these shortcut tricks for finding the distribution there is one more method how you can find the expected value of the x so we all know expected value of the x is expected value expected value of x condition y now here this is a condition of y so i can return this as a with respect to y so what is that expected value of y what is the x condition y is binomial so the by expected value of this is n into p n is my y in this case p is my half fine so what is that half is a common expected value of y so what is the expected value of the y poisson distribution having the mean 2 so this is my 2 so that's again a 1 so this is again the right so you can see either you can use this shortcut tricks or either you can use this method you can get the answer in a similar way now look at this another one again we will try to solve this again the shortcut tricks xi's are the sequence of the iid with the mean is 0 xi's is mean of xi is my 0 variance of xi is my 1 but what is, what is the distribution it is not given to you it may be a discrete it may be a continuous now define the yn and you have to find here fine that's simple if i define like of this Firstly, I can find the mean of this. So what is that? This is x1, x2 and then so on. That's a very simple. I can firstly find the mean of x1, x2. Because they are the IID, so they have the same. They are independent. I can return as E of x1, E of x2. E of x i are my zero, so it is a zero. So this value is zero. Second part expected this zero, all are zero. So y expected mean of the y is my zero fine now we can find the variance of the yn so it is 1 over n square variance of x1 x2 variance of this and so on so how you can find that i can find the variance of x1 x2 it is expected value of the x1 square minus expected value of x1 x2 whole square this value i have already computed as a zero how you find because they are independent so i can return this number as of this one how you find the expected value of x i square by using the variance this is again a one so this value is my one so if i substitute here what is that this is one plus one up to one so it's a n times it is my here fine so what is we computed if i write for you here what is that y n as a mean zero y n as a variance one over n so what is that now it's a standard normal so yn minus 0 divided by standard deviation. It follows my normal distribution. What is that? I can return this number also like of 
this manner. So this part is correct option. Look at the second option. Yn converges in the second mean to the zero. So what is your target to prove? That means your target is to prove Yn converges to the zero of second mean. That is my here. This is your target. This is your target or you can see instead of this, you can say the probability of this goes to the zero. Or you can simply take, we can find the expected value of this. So if I start from here, this is expected value of yn square. How you can find the expected value of yn square from here? This is variance plus expected value of yn whole square. So what is that? Expected value of yn is here. It is 1 by n. It goes to the 0 as n approaches. Why n approaches infinity? Because of the word converges. So x expected value of this over the mean goes to the 0 is my correct answer. Now look about the third option. Third is convergence in probability. Your target is to prove this values convergence in probability to the zero. So what for that you basically need to prove this value will goes to the zero here and variance of this value will goes to the zero as n approaches infinity. So firstly I can start from here. I can return like this manner. E expected value of yn is 0 plus 1 over n. It goes to the 0 as n approaches infinity. First condition satisfied. Variance of yn plus 1 over n. It is variance of yn. Variance of yn is 1 by n which goes to the 0 as n approaches infinity. So it means this property satisfied. So this is also the right answer. Look at the last option. Your target is to prove xn converges to the zero almost surely. Fine. So how you prove the almost surely on the xn, not on the yn? What is given to you? Xi's expected value of the xi's is my zero. So what is the meaning of that? Xi's converges to the zero in probability. This is given to you. Now we can use this shortcut to x. Remember, if you if it is given that it's almost sure convergence, it implies is a convergence in probability. It implies convergence in that distribution. But converse need not true. So he said it is given that x size converges to zero in probability. It means this is true, but converse is not true. So this option is cancelled out. So the right options are my A, B, C are my correct options. So I already gave you this shortcut tricks in my GATE 2022, GATE 2019 and GATE 2021 examination paper. All are available in my playlist of the GATE statistic. You can see in here GATE 2022 and you can see the probability question, probability and here you can see this question. Okay, now see about here. Consider the orthonormal set V1 v2 and v3 are my orthonormal okay orthonormal fine what is the meaning of the orthonormal is the dot product of the each element like vi vj is my zero fine and the norm of vi is my one this is the property of the orthonorm let u is a b c is the inner product of the u such that u dot v is my 1, u dot v2 is my 2, u dot v3 is my 3. Fine. So what is that? So I will tell you the two different method. Firstly, firstly we will tell you explanation like a is there, v is my this. So if you solve them, it will give you a minus b plus c divided by root 3 here. U dot product of this is a plus 2b plus c is my 2 root 6 and from here it's a a minus c is my 3 root 2. Now based on these three equations you can find the value of a, you can find the value of b, you can find the value of c and substitute here. That's a very lengthy procedure. You can write in this ax is equal to b, write in the Gauss elimination form and solve. 
but there is no need to solve like this way i will tell you a very simple and the shortcut trick what is the shortcut trick is now you can see with this shortcut trick you can solve this question in a 15 second how remember whenever there is a orthonormal whenever there is a orthonormal or orthogonal set so i will tell you the orthogonal way. so how you can find the vector a like so this is nothing but my inner product of u v1 divided by inner product of v1 v1 similarly for the b that's a y component this has a u inner product with respect to v2 v2 comma v2 similarly for the c you can see this is the simplest shortcut trick you can solve this answer in a 15 second now you can count down the time what is the u dot v1 it is already given to you one since it is a orthonormal so you can see what is the dot product of v1 v2 v1 v1 that's a one of here so it is a one so a is my one what is my b two over one two c dot product is three over one three now you can substitute this value 1 plus 4 plus 9 right answer is 40 you can see within the 15 second you can solve this question with the help of this shortcut trick if it is ortho orthogonal then definitely that norm is not one then you have to find this as here but it is a one because of the ortho norm so you can see the answer in the 15 second okay look at this another question Consider the probability space here, which consists of the 1, 2, 3, 4, such that G is my outcomes, probability of 1 is here, X is my random variable from the set of the outcomes, set of the outcomes to the real numbers, such that outcomes are my 1, 2 and 3. So I can define the mapping, fine. So this is my X of omega, say omega is my outcomes. 1, 2 and 3. So corresponding to the 1, there is only one element, 1. Corresponding to the 2, it has the two elements, 2 and 3. Corresponding to the 3, it has only one element. Fine, that's over. Now what is given to you? The probability of this is given to you 1 by 4. We all know probability of this is my 1. Total probability is 1 always. Now, what is that? x less than equal to 2 is my 3 by 4. What is the meaning of that? Probability x is 1. Probability x is equal to 2 is my 3 over 4. So what is the meaning of that? x is equal to 1 means that's a single element. This value is my 1 by 4. x is equal to 2 means there are the two elements. Probability of elements 2 and 3 is my 3 by 4. So what is that? 2 comma 3 is my 2 by 4. Uh, it's a 2 by 4 is a 1 by 2 so the right answer of this is my 1 over 2 so since the sum is 1 so can you find the answer of this so it's a 1 by 4 it's a 1 by it's again a 1 by 4 then your right, right answer is 1 and 4 so 1 plus 4 1 by 4 so 0.5 is the right answer of this answer otherwise we also know how you can find this value from this so 1 and 4 it is nothing but my 1 minus probability of 2 comma 3 so we all find the probability of 2 is 1 by 2 so again it is my 0.5 is the right answer of this problem so you can see within a couple of seconds you have to write this in a simple read the statement very carefully once you read the statement carefully you can write the answer in this box and then get the answer in a very simple manner so this is the very way you can solve this question in a very simple manner. You can see all those questions I have solved with the help of the shortcut tricks. We will see the last 61 to 65 question in the next lecture. Till then you can simply scan and join my WhatsApp group. I hope you can like, share and comment on my video. Best of luck students. Thank you very much.